Oh, wow. Um, there's a lot of information. Um, I would suggest to be patient. It is a long process. When you go along to any meetings, you can take support people with you. You can take the peer support. You can take, like you could take a carer support person or, you know, any support that you feel that you need to bring with you to the, the planning meeting, mm. you can do that. I, I went with other people, so it was, because I'm a bit, you know, not backwards or nothing, but this takes a bit, a bit of time for stuff to sink in with me and all that. Mm -hmm. yeah, but um, I went with another person for that, so they did a lot of the talking. Mm -hmm. Unless you can do it yourself, but mm -hmm. you know, I, had, I had to get someone to help me with it. Stick to your guns. No one knows your health and yourself better than you do. Don't let anyone tell you what you are and are not capable of. The thing I recommend to everyone is prepare, prepare, prepare. Sit down with someone that you know, download all the information off the NDIS about what you have to do to prepare and plan, go through it and get someone to explain it to you in layman's terms. Know what you want and don't be scared to speak up and ask for it. If you're applying, get your paperwork together, get it as thorough as you can. Maybe even, oh, I shouldn't say this, but you can cut it out. Write out the letter for your psychiatrist and tell him what you want him to say. No, but so you, you need to make sure you get all, your documentation's the make or break, mm. and you do have to get a lot of different sources. So put a bit of work into that part. Definitely present your worst case scenario days. Um, because you need to know what your needs are if you do become unwell. So even though you might be well, definitely um, be insightful to what your worst case scenarios would be. When we heard, it turned out they'd lost the paperwork, so we had to reapply again. So definitely good advice to keep a copy of everything and keep a diary. You know, just write in your diary, spoke to this person on that day, Anyone who's considering applying to make sure that you have all your paperwork in order and make sure your treating professionals are very familiar with the kind of language that they need to use in their documents and reports in order to get you included. I would recommend that they talk to other people with psychosocial disability who have applied. There are some great Facebook groups and resources out there that people can talk to other people or look at get the person's name, email and phone number and if you've got any questions for them in the meantime you can contact them. Look the NDIS might seem quite scary at first but keep persevering, embrace it because I know from my own experience it has made the world of difference 